हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दिस वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो यूजिंग टिंकर कैड ऑटोडेस्क टिंकर कैड सॉफ्टवेयर सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू वेरीफाई द ट्रूथ टेबल फॉर अ एंड गेट यूजिंग टिंकर कैड सो जस्ट गो विद सेलेक्ट द सर्किट्स ऑप्शन नाउ वी विल सेलेक्ट टू स्लाइड स्विच इज वन एल ई डी वन रजिस्टर नाउ वी विल ऑल्सो हैव अ ब्रेड बोर्ड सो वी आर डिजाइनिंग द सर्किट to verify the truth table for our and gate so we know that in our and gate the output is one only and only if both the inputs are one otherwise the output will be logic zero so we will take a breadboard now we will take a power supply so first we are selecting all the different components to make our circuit later we will also simulate the circuit so we will take a positive voltage from power supply and also the negative voltage from the power supply and the positive voltage we have connected to the breadboard and also the negative voltage we have also connected to the second row of the blackboard so this is negative so we will make the color as black and for positive we will make the color of the wire as red so as you can see all this points will be ground and all the below points will be high voltage or vcc now we will now we will take our ic so as you can see there are different options also here in tinkercad for rotate and all different different options now we will take the ic so we will take the 7408 ic so this is the 74 hc 08 ic so as you can see this is the 74 hc 08 and 08 means this is the ic for and gate so we when we can connect a total of four and gates here so each and gate have two inputs and one output so this ic has 14 pins so we can have a total of four and gates and one pin is the positive and other pin is the negative or ground so you can see that this ic has a total of 14 pins so we will connect the positive and ground of the power supply to the other side of this breadboard also so this will be black which is ground and red so as you can see this is the positive pin of the voltage so we have to give the power pin so we will connect it to 5 volt so as you can see i have made the connection to the 5 volt and this is the ground pin so we'll make the connection to ground so this is the power and the ground connections for our ic 74 hc 08 so this is a cmos ic as shown in the number now we will connect the two slide switches also so first slide switch we are taking for input first and the second slide slide switch for input 2 so as you can see on the slide switch is also we have three terminals so one terminal is for power one terminal is for ground and the common terminal is for connecting the inputs so as you can see i have connected the slide switch is also to the power and the ground pins now we will connect that co uh, common pin to our input so for the first input which is input a we will connect the common pin of the first slide switch so as you can see i have made the connection of the first slide switch to the first input of our and gate so input a this is the second slide switch so we will connect the second input of our and gate ic to this second slide switch so let me change the uh, color of the wires so let us take this as green color let us take this as blue color so now we have provided the two inputs of the ic through these slide switches and these slide switches are also connected to the power and the ground supply now we will take a led for the output and we will always connect a led with a resistor to make sure that the current in the led is controlled if we don't do not take the resistor the led will get burnt so this is the resistor so the led is the output so we will connect the output of the ic 
to this LED. So as you can see, this is the first output and remember all the connections we are making through first AND gate. So all the connections must be for the first AND gate only. So this output is in the orange color. So we can uh, zoom in, zoom out also. This functionality is also very, very good. Now we will connect the uh, ground of the LED to the ground supply also and make it black. So as you can see, we have provided the output connection to the LED and the second pin of the LED is connected to ground. Now let's change the value of the resistance to 220 ohm for the best performance. So please like and share the video and subscribe the channel for more such videos. So as you can see, our circuit is now perfect. So when both the inputs are one, then our LED is growing and when we so as you can see currently both the inputs are one so LED is glowing now the second input is zero so the LED is off so as you can see when the switch is to the right then it is zero now the first switch is also zero so LED is again off so in AND gate the output is one only and only if both the switches both the inputs are one at present both the inputs are zero now both the inputs are again one so the LED again glows Remember left when it is connected to left then the switch is connected to power supply and when it is in uh, left uh, when it is in right position then the switch is connected to ground. And for the AND gate both the input should be one for the LED to glow. This is the concept of the AND gate. So at present both the switches are on left side so the LED is on. You can see this, we are providing a 5 volt voltage. Both the switches are on left side, so LED glows. And if any of the switch is on the right side, the LED will turn off. So thank you.